18 News Now. The time is 9 p.m. Thank you for joining us for this News Now. I'm Nancy Cox. Governor Matt Bevin is continuing to show his support for the Marshall County community. Today, he joined faith leaders as well as state and local officials at the Children's Arts Center in Benton for a special service honoring the victims and their families. He was joined on stage by the family of Bailey Holt, one of the two teenagers killed in Tuesday's shooting. Bevan wrapped up the event by signing a proclamation declaring Sunday a day of prayer and remembrance. A woman who went on the run from the Fayette County Jail for six months is back behind bars. Janelle Renee Morton was granted a court-ordered medical pass last July, but authorities say she never came back from that appointment. Last night, police caught up with her and she was taken back to jail. She's now facing two charges of escape, and charges for violating her probation. Morton was originally in jail for possession of a forged instrument. Kentucky Power customers will be waiting a bit longer on their bills this month. The company is delaying the bills to implement new rates and tax savings. The bills will be sent out about a week later than usual. Due dates are being adjusted as well, so customers still have 15 days to pay. Kentucky Power serves more than 150,000 people in 20 eastern Kentucky counties with headquarters in Boyd County. And there's a new colonel in town. Country music star Reba McIntyre is the latest celebrity to be cast as KFC's legendary Colonel Sanders. McIntyre made her debut in a commercial unveiled yesterday. In the spot, she sings lyrics telling the audience to ignore the colonel's resemblance to a famous country singer and stating that he is, quote, definitely not a woman. Her campaign will run until April. Pretty fun. Be sure to join us on TV for LEX 18 News at 11. Details about how Lexington police tracked down a Crime Stoppers most wanted suspect today. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker weather forecast is right after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Friday evening. Thank you for surfing to our little corner of the internet. And we are talking weather wise tonight. Really not bad for a January evening at all. Temperatures, we got to 60 today. That's not shabby. A low 50s tomorrow. That'll be with rain. There's the first shot of cold coming early next week. There is a bigger shot coming later in the week, but there's a warm up in between. We're still hanging close to 50 here at 9 o'clock. That's even with the sky mainly clear. Just by the way, see the space station go over tonight? Really, really nice looking pass. Uh, you're looking at uh, upper 40s, mid 40s, 49 Bluegrass Airport. Along with that, south wind at 13. That's helping to keep the temperatures up tonight. A little rain has been going by to our north and west. Those clouds cleared out in time for us to see the space station go by. And again, that rain is part of a front that is developing here. By midnight, still a good southerly wind. And with that, we'll continue to see those warm temperatures hang around. But you notice the rain is increasing ahead of the front. That's tomorrow morning by the time we get you to lunch. Rain is overspreading about the 127 corridor by the middle of the afternoon. Most of us are seeing rain at that point. And we get a pretty good soaking out of this deal as we'll see that front continue pressing southeastward. Should be ending as we get you into early Sunday morning. Maybe a few lingering showers southeast Kentucky. Then the second cold front comes through, which should come through dry. But when it does, we will introduce the northerly winds. And with that wave traveling on the front, it's on the Arctic front there, we will see a little snow shower chance come in here for well, the early part of the week, Monday. You're looking at rainfall amounts, eh, quarter, half, maybe two-thirds of an inch. So again, a pretty good soaking for us tonight. No soaking tonight. Partly cloudy. We'll see the clouds increase later on. We'll be in the low 40s. It's low 50s tomorrow as the clouds thicken and the rain arrives. It'll be a windy day as well. We got shenanigans that we're talking about with the LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast coming up at 11.